Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino <laughs> Booze Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Manchild, you have the Honey Monster. We have this here bottle of Forty Creek Reserve. This is the Copper Pot Reserve from the Forty Creek Distillery, which is um, in Grimsby. Ah! It is... <laughs> what? Sorry, what's the name down here? This is, it's the Kitling okay. Ridge Distillery. Kitling Ridge is a winery. Forty Creek is a shit. I discovered this shit two years ago. I had no idea that like, a local whiskey was so awesome. 43% uh, alcohol. Right. On the back here, it says, Forty Creek Copper Pot Whiskey is made by renowned whiskey maker John Hall. Um, nothing against the people at Forty Creek, but John, I didn't know you were really all that renowned. <laughs> well, he's getting there now. Well, apparently, he's renowned now. Forty Creek is making a huge name for itself. It is. It, it is. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that yeah. when you think about whiskey makers, who do you think? Do you think Forty Creek first? Wait another thirty years. But yeah, wait another never, thirty years. In thirty years, he'll be dead. Well, that's that's well, what it'll be right now. It might only be forty. Like Canadian Club was the shit they sold during Prohibition, but now it's like a using a selection of rye, corn, right, and barley really greens. Good. Paul distills each grain separately in a traditional copper pot still One grain to create a, a spirit that is bold and complex. Patient extra aging takes place in white oak barrels, and the resulting whiskey is bottled at 43% alcohol to complement the flavor profile. Sounds amazing. Um, yeah. It was I mean, good. It, it was good. I want to see how this is different from... The, um, it, he uh, says here we invite you to tour our distillery and taste our fine whiskeys. Visit 40creekwhiskey.com. Somebody should do that other than me and ask if we can go film. <laughs> why, why, why can't you? Just because. <laughs> you got a history with them? There's a parking lot. No comment. <laughs> We'll see what else we can get in once we uh, give everybody a taste. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of tired tonight because I drank a bunch of this shit last night. It was good. While playing war games. Pour me the rest. Give me the rest of it. What was that big Phoenix board game thing you guys going on there? Uh, I don't know. I didn't play any of the weird Phoenix ones. Oh, wow. That's, you know, oh, whatever. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'll drink the big one. No, no, I'll I drink a so, so, here we go with the uh, Actually, if you want more. The 40 Creek Copper Pot. Give me that. Yeah, I'll I'll give me that. Alright. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> give me more. <laughs> I'm, getting a, I'm getting vanilla. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting I'm whiskey. Get, <laughs> yeah, the usual <laughs> green spirits. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whiskey's like my preferred drink. <laughs> whiskey and bourbon. It's got a nice fine... Uh, uh, whiskey, scotch, and bourbon, which are all families of the whiskey. Like rye, scotch, and bourbon. I can't do, I can't do scotch. Thing. I'm like Timmy. I mean, honey monster. I can't do, I can't do scotch. This has a nice uh, kind of caramelized sugar. Kind yeah, of I'm getting caramel. I'm getting I'm getting a That's little bit of really nice. vanilla. I'm getting a roasty, toasty smell. It actually... The, see, the thing with copper pots is it puts different layers in, in the scent. And you're getting that. You're getting the copper on yeah. it, too. This is a pretty sophisticated whiskey, really. Actually, you know what? Compared to regular Forty Creek, this smells amazing. Yeah. Uh, well, do, I didn't you buy remember, do you know the uh, price point of this one? Uh, I spent twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I felt that. <laughs> well, it was on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he pressed his ass cheeks on your shoulder. I felt that. If you were if you were paper, you'd be an airplane right now. <laughs> so you're saying it was twenty eight dollars? <laughs> yeah, about twenty eight seventy five, something okay. like that. Oh, so that's fucking. That's, that's no, yeah, it was well, we don't really reasonable. We haven't tried it. No, the price is good. Yeah. That's good. It's not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. No, it, it has a little bit more burn. Well, that's the 43%, right? Yes. Yeah. But lots of flavor. Yeah, yeah. Like, this This is a fantastic, just like, rocks whiskey. You, yeah. you throw this in a glass, throw a couple ice cubes in there, I was drinking that all night long. I tend to drink my whiskey and bourbons straight up. No ice or anything. Yeah, just don't worry. And straight up, again, it has a little bit more burn than yeah. I would like, mm -hmm. but it's, it's great at the same time. That's why it's good with, uh, that's why it's good with ice. You throw, you throw a couple rocks in there... It's gonna be great with it because you're gonna dilute that just a little bit yeah. throughout the drink, and it loses that it loses that uh, bite right away. Wait, and, and you know what? For the price point, 
and for the fact that it's it's Forty Creek is relatively local, um, it's it's a good whiskey. Oh yeah, uh, I really do you know enjoy what? it. Twenty eight dollars for the seven fifty of this. This almost competes with the uh, Canadian Club Twelve Year, which is thirty dollars thirty six dollars for the one point one seven five bottle. Yeah. So I mean, they're in about the same price point range. I think it was twenty eight. It was in who brought that? Who brought that? Me. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I, I went out and bought a. I, I, if I'm going to a party, I'll go. Because Canada is a huge Forty Creek drinker, man. Huge. Now, I, I, you know what? I, I've had normal Forty Creek, and I'm not impressed with for, normal Forty Creek. But that, this... that's why I said my comment about John Hall. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a dig at him as much as. Yeah. Like it, makes it, Forty Creek. It's average whiskey. I'm not going to say it's it's not bad or it's not bad whiskey. It's just average whiskey. But this is this I actually like more because this has more character and has more flavor. Yeah, I would give this. I would give this a seven seven five. I would buy it again. I wouldn't go out of my way to find it, but if I only had thirty bucks to buy a bottle of whiskey, I I, I would uh, look for this. One. I like this. I give it a seven. I prefer normal Forty Creek more. Uh, I find it has a, a richer, more true taste. Just that's just me. What? I like this. Um, I like this mostly because it slips into the. Uh, I'll knock it off random beef. Um, it, it slips into the higher alcohol contents of, of, of a nice reserve. Uh, it also um, it has some of the same character notes that you get out of uh, some of the higher end bourbons, which uh, which I actually really enjoy. Um, would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't buy this again. Uh, would I go to Forty Creek? Sure. What would you? What is your preferred At twenty eight dollars, I would probably buy Sorta Liège. No, I, I wouldn't buy Sorrelage. Uh, for the same amount, I would buy probably a bourbon. I'd spend more and actually buy a bottle of bourbon. Or, or there's some nice but bottles of bourbon. we're talking about you only there. have $28. Yeah, that's, that's the way you start. If you only have $28, honestly, I would buy... Um, Jim Beam. I would, I would save an extra four dollars Jim Beam. Yeah, I probably, you know what, I, I, I might actually buy this. I don't know. There's there's lots of stuff out there, and it depends on what mood I'm in, because I love really good like this. No, not turkey. Turkey? Turkey's garbage. I got half a bottle of home. Um, it's, you know what? Um, uh, yeah, you I, made I, me I, drink I that shit. I wouldn't go I, I'm going to give this a seven. It's it's a solid drink for the price point. It's also very good, but it's always not going to get high marks because it isn't a bourbon, so they're kind of lacking in that regard. Um, but it's got a high alcohol content, which is good, and it's got a nice reserve. Uh, Here's a question for you. Okay, now I'm a guy who drinks whiskey and bourbon and beer. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between whiskey and bourbon? Uh, there's no difference. Bourbon is a whiskey. Uh, okay, so what, how how does it become bourbon? Uh, it's the way it's treated. It's like plutonium. No, no, no. It's like it's like the the mashing process that okay, they okay. they go through. Um, that that makes the bourbon. Then you've got like scotch goes through a different process. Rye goes through a different process. Right. Okay. Everyone goes. They're all whiskeys, but they're all delicious, delicious brown brown liquids. It is. Oh wow. Um, yeah, you just learn nothing. Brown liquid. Uh, Kerbal yes. Space Program is still that shit. Uh, yeah. Kerbal Space Program. That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's me playing. That's right. <laughs> did anyone give it a reading already? We all did. I did, yeah.